and uh, take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I am Ming Wen from uh, uh, Klang and Fushu University. Uh, today, I would like to uh, present our talk about like take the red pill for S3 and uh, see how deep the rabbit hole goes. My uh, talk will include four sections. The first one is about the current pills we have, like HTTP 1.1, S2, and S3. Then uh, I will talk about like how deep the rabbit hole uh, goes with S3, and uh, also I will present. Um, a, a way to measure the depth with the with our proposed S uh, S3 testbed, and uh, the last section will be the summary of the talk. Well, let's get started with uh, the current pills we have about HTTP 1.1, S2, and S3. Well, um, HTTP has been uh, used for over 30 years, and it was started in 1991 with uh, version uh, 0.9 where only raw data transfer from the server to the client. And then HTTP version 1 and 1.1 uh, were continuously sp specified by uh, IETF in IFC documents. And about like uh, almost 10 years later, HTTP 2 was uh, standardized in IFC 7540. And currently, we are working on the HTTP uh, version 3 uh, since 2016. And uh, in this paper, we are, focus, we are, we are going to uh, focus on uh, HTTP 2 and uh, S3 versions, and we will compare to uh, HTTP 1.1. Well, in uh, S2, we are, have, we are having many, many new uh, features like the server push, uh, the stream multiplexing, stream priority, and stream termination. Let's uh, get started with the first uh, server push feature. Well, in uh, HTTP 1.1, if the pipeline is not endable, we need one request to get one response, and then we waste one RTT to uh, receive the response. However, when, we, uh, when the pipeline is used, we don't need to waste RTT anymore, but still, we still need to send many requests to the server. Meanwhile, with the server push feature in S2, we can uh, just need one request, and we, then we will receive many uh, multiple responses. And so we can reduce request overhead, and also we save many raw chip times. In terms of the multiplexing features, we can uh, process requests in, uh, uh, at the same time, and also uh, we can save RTT when we all, when we do, don't need to waste the response. The third prior, uh, the third features is about the stream priority. In these features, the client can uh, indicate that the more the more important data that uh, can uh, push faster from the server, and normally these features should be used with the stream multiplexing. For example, here we, you can see that the, we have two streams, stream A and stream B. We have uh, the, the, the stream B that is, that is set with uh, the weight parameters here is two and the weight for parameters A is one. So that means the stream B will be pushed two times faster than the stream A. And the final uh, feature in S2 is like the, is the stream termination. Well, with, with these uh, features, the client can, can, uh, can terminate the unusable data from the client, and then uh, the server will stop immediately pushing the data to the client. That will save a lot of data throughput or the, the downloaded data when, the, when those data cannot be used at the client. Currently, uh, HTTP 3 is uh, in uh, process, and this protocol version is built on top of Quick uh, Transport Protocol, and this version in, uh, inherits many HTTP 2 features. But what news? Well, uh, HTTP 3 can deal with head of line blocking, and also it provides zero RDT features for faster connection establishment. So currently, we have like HTTP 1.1, and the newest version is S3. So 
why don't we take the red pill for S3 and then we can see that how deep the rabbit goes, uh, rabbit hole goes with S3. Well, in the academics research, we can see that if HTTP2 or HTTP3 is uh, used in the default mode, the, the performance of that is not like uh, much difference. Even when uh, many RTT values is uh, tested, However, we can see that if you, uh, many papers re can, uh, state that when the server push is used, we can reduce uh, the request overhead and also reduce the latency between the client and the server. Also, uh, and as a result, we can have higher throughput uh, utilization. With the stream priority and stream multiplexing, you can go deeper with, uh, to, to novel download strategies and also not only for the traditional video downloads, but also for 360 video streamings. And, especially, uh, and also because of the head of live blocking, uh, HTTP2 have worse results as HTTP3 in the lossy networks. And uh, finally, you can go deeper with stream terminations to, re to reduce the unused data in retransmission techniques and also 360 video streamings. Uh, the question now here is like, can we go deeper? And we say yes. Why? Because uh, in HTTP2 versions, we, uh, which is specified in IFC 7540, uh, the, the old priority ma mechanisms is poorly Im uh, implemented because of complexity and also many other issues. So the many researchers are working on a new priority mechanisms and this new mechanism has not been extensively in investigated yet. So I think it can be an interesting topic in the future work. And also uh, many papers uh, state that traditional approaches might not get benefits from S3 in default mode. So there is, uh, it is necessary for, 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 for new AB algorithms that integrate S3 features to get better results for ABR uh, like in uh, adaptive address schemes as a client and also sometimes for the server. Here we also introduce one of our work about uh, an HTTP2 and HTTP3 aware to retransmission technique, which is named like S2BR. Well, the motivation here is like one of the main issues in in uh, in DAS or in DAS is like the quality variation, when because of the throughput fluctuation, sometimes the quality is going down in the in the buffer. So the question is like, why don't we uh, upgrade the low quality segments in the buffer? So that will uh, make the, the, the users happier. Well, in uh, S2BR techniques, we use some features from S2 and S3, like server pools, stream multiplexing, and stream priority, and, uh, and uh, stream terminations. It can be an uh, additional component in, in the clients that will send an uh, additional request, namely like retransmissions request from the figures here to get a new upgraded segment for, to, to replace low quality segments in the buffer. Well, in uh, our experiments, we can, we can see that for non-scalable video streaming, up to 70% lowest quality watching time is decreased and meanwhile we can increase up to around like 13% of the quality score. In terms of the scalable video streaming scenarios, we can see that video quality is also is increased and the quality switches is improved. And also uh, from the, when we compare S2 and S3 performance, we can see that S3 provides better results in lossy networks because of, because of the, um, the head of light blocking issues. The next one is like we will broad, uh, provide um, an HTTP3 testbed that will help, the, help you to, to measure how depth you are going to when you are using HTTP3 features, um, 
versions. Well, this test base has the server size and the client size. The test uh, query, the, um, the test coordinator here on the client side will kill the new job in the database. Then those jobs are processed based on the job specific configuration parameters such as like the targets, streaming clients, DASJS, ESO uh, player, or HLSJS. Then the client will say, uh, receive the manifest and the segments from the S3 servers. From the, from the server side internally, S3 servers will, will, will use one of the predefined bandwidth limits, uh, limitation traits to, to, uh, to test the playback under different scenarios. And during the playback, the workers' instances will report the playback metrics such as like the average bit rate, start, startup delay, and the number of rebuffering events to the metrics uh, users using like um, CMCD or SAND protocols. So here we, are, we introduce our proposed methods that can, uh, that provides vi visualized server components for flexible compo uh, deployments with, with, uh, which can test different bandwidth trace as traces and uh, automated test runs via player workers. So if you would like to, uh, to learn more about this test base, please contact uh, Stefan and uh, Daniel from Fraunhofer, uh, who is uh, sitting down there. So in summary, we can see that S2 and S3 brings benefits for to us when their features are considered. However, the questions of what we can do with S3 and S2 to improve has is still not fully answered. So uh, the new, new, some new designs for S3-based AB algorithms and download strategies can be necessary to, uh, to answer those questions. And also in this talk, we are introduced an uh, S3 is test based that can be a uh, functional tool for automated testing and uh, providing vi visualizations. And that's all for my talk, and thank you for the attention.